Hi, and welcome to Envision Prototypes. I'm Nick. Today we're going to be starting a new project. It's called Afterburner. And as you can see here, we've got a brand new chassis, all fabricated and ready to go. Now, a few weeks ago, if you've been watching our videos, I put up a really loose napkin sketch of the overall concept of the car. But if you're just tuning in, think of a Ford GT and a Dodge Challenger mashed together with the doors blown off. Well, that's what we're going to be doing with this little Roadster. It's going to be an open roof, no doors, with a Ford EcoBoost jammed in under the hood. Now, it's not going to have 500 horsepower, but the Ford EcoBoost is really going to make this thing sing or fly or whatever. It's going to make it move. It's going to be a really light little Roadster and just a fun car overall. Now, this chassis here, it's all been fabricated, body worked. Yeah, we did some body work to it, smooth things out, grinding marks, you know, smooth all that up and primed it in preparation for assembly. We're going to throw an engine into it, a mock-up engine, the EcoBoost, we don't have that yet. Rear axle, we're going to get that mocked up and then get this up on a platform so we can actually start building the wireframe buck for the body. Now, this is about the fourth time where they're using this particular chassis design for a Roadster. We built two SRF32 Roadsters, uh, street racing Ford 32s, uh, the Electrode Hot Rod, we've used this chassis for that car, and now we're using it for the Afterburner. So it's proven itself time and time again, really strong, really light, and it has an indie style, really cool indie style front suspension. Basically, it takes all your shocks and all your components, moves them inbound, and all you have is a push rod that gets activated by the lower control arm. You have your lower control arm that ties in to those pivots down below. You have the upper control arm that bolts to that area there on the plate. We have a push rod that comes from the lower control arm up through that channel within this member here, pushing on this bell crank. And this bell crank activates the coil over inside. So all this is clean, no complications. It's just a really clean front end. So this would be sitting like this. And as you're driving down the road, that would pivot back and forth. It's really simple and handles amazingly well. Power steering racks, it's up front there. Brackets for the cooler. You have your engine mounts, a carrier for the steering shaft. And right there is what our finished car will look like in a few weeks, months, a little while. When the client's happy with the final rendering, we go ahead and develop two-dimensional quarter scale drawings, which we send to the printer and they blow them up or scale them up to full size. So what you see on the wall is actually the actual vehicle. So we can build the wireframe buck from that. Now to keep this front end nice and low and sleek, we're gonna take the radiator and move it to the back. That's right. We're gonna get two coolant lines, one down one side, one down the other side, and we're gonna have the rad right there. Those plates there are your cab mounts, body mounts, there's three of them per side. And uh, if you want to remove the body, you pull those bolts, lift the body off the chassis. So today we're going to get that front engine in. Not a mid-engine or rear engine, but front engine, right? Get that installed, get the rear axle in, and uh, perhaps get this up on a table. We'll see. Now we're supposed to have a blueprint up on the wall of the car so we can start the wireframe buck. Unfortunately, the printer hasn't been in contact yet. There's been a bit of a paper shortage. In the meantime, we can just start planning things out and working on this chassis, just getting things kind of set up.
sitting quite a bit. There. There you go, guys. Throw a set of wheels in the front, and we take this for a drive. I'm kidding. We got the engine in, rear axle, threw a seat in just for fun because it's stinking hot. I had to sit down. Uh, just pouring sweat this afternoon. It's one of those days. But anyway, we're going to leave the front suspension off for now because we want to develop all the wire frame in that area. Now we didn't have to put the engine in or we didn't have to mock up with this particular engine, but I like to have something physical to work to. We could establish a line there with a laser level and say we can't go any further than that, but sometimes you can't see everything that happens, like where the cats go or where catalytic converters or where a dipstick tube is, and that might you know interfere later on. So I like to have something in place I can work to, put the engine there, we have the firewall, we can establish that as a physical barrier then and work backwards and uh, develop the birdcage. Now similar to a C3 Corvette, the birdcage or internal cab structure was developed and then all the fiberglass panels were bolted to or adhered to that structure. We're gonna have the same thing. We're gonna have an internal cab structure that all the sheet metal panels attach to. But in this case, our birdcage, our cab structure is gonna bolt to the frame rails and then we'll work outward from there. So once we get all that established, then we'll start developing the wireframe shape and kind of just tack it to that birdcage. Later on, all that wireframe will be removed and the body panel just reattach in the same locations. And uh, I think uh, the seat is a bit far back, so we can probably move it ahead a little bit, but like leg room, got tons of it in here. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this episode at this point. I appreciate you guys watching. Things are gonna happen pretty quickly with this project, but we need that drawing up on the wall. Without that, we can't do anything. It's like waving a stick in water. You know, you can say here, 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 whatever. But uh, until we get that on the wall and we have a guide to work to, nothing else can happen. So keep an eye out for that. Please like, subscribe, and share our channel with your friends. Stay tuned for the next episode when we get that blueprint on the wall and we actually start fabricating. Take care, guys.